I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day number 70. Today I'll be stitching with my trailer machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching. I'll start out using my trailer machine quilting ruler, starting quilting in the bottom left corner. From there, I'll line up the notches on the trailer ruler so that they intersect the opposite corner. So I'll stitch from the lower left corner to the upper right corner. From the upper right corner, I'll stitch across the top ditch of the block. From the upper left corner, I'll again line up my trailer machine quilting ruler and stitch a diagonal line to the opposite bottom side of the block. Once I've done that, once I've stitched to the bottom, then I will travel about halfway up the right side of my block. Now you'll notice here that I haven't done any markings to see exactly where the halfway mark is. Instead, I'm just going to eyeball it along the side, but I can use my machine quilting ruler to line that up and see exactly where it needs to be. Because I already have the X stitched through the center of the block, the center is obviously already there. I'll stitch from the right side to the left side, then once I get to the left side, I'll travel back up to the top of the block, along again to the center of the block, and then stitch down to the bottom of the block. I have now divided this block into eight different triangles. Once I reach that bottom point on the block, then I'm going to begin using my trailer machine quilting ruler as a guide and stitch back to and forth straight lines, matched stick quilting lines, filling in every other one of those triangle shapes. Now, I'm using my machine quilting ruler here just as a guide to help me keep my lines straight. It's not necessarily for measuring or anything like that. It's completely just a guide to help me keep those lines nice and straight. You'll notice as I do stitch out these matchstick quilted lines, my lines are actually probably about an eighth of an inch apart if you are looking for spacing. Also, you'll notice that I do change directions with those matchstick lines. So on the top triangle and the bottom triangle, I'm stitching those horizontal, whereas on the two sides, I'm stitching them vertical. I do this just to help keep a little bit of motion, give the block a little bit of a motion look. I hope you enjoyed today's block and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow! Thank you.